Make the same mistake until they waking up in custody. What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, 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 kind of Bud Crawford or E. Ersh Red. If that's what you won't call me, and we are back for a another one. New topic, y'all. All right, let's get this done real fast. New topic: fight facts. Why you should put your money on Terrence Bud Crawford over Earl Spence Jr. Says Tim Bradley. All right, y'all. So breaking down this fight, you know, we're getting closer. We we've been promised this fight for this year. You know, most likely the end of the year because there's no more time left. <laughs> but Earl Spence Jr. has promised us there is something in the works as far as this fight coming together. Uh, they're still negotiating, but the negotiating process is going. I would take it smoothly because he wouldn't have said that if it wasn't. So I, it's, it's time to start breaking down this fight, giving fight facts giving analysis and breakdowns and uh how you see the fight playing out now everybody knows styles make fights what is it in terms crawford style that will force earl spence to either have to rethink his game plan or change his game plan once the fight starts what are going to be the things that terence crawford can do inside the boxing ring with his skill sets to throw Earl Spence off of his mechanical rhythm. We all know Earl Spence is a very mechanical fighter and and has very good fundamentals, sticks to his jab and works everything off his jab. So what can Terrence Crawford do to throw that rhythm that Earl Spence has off enough to score a victory? And I think most people are going to say it's his switch hitting. It's the fact that he can not only go southpaw, but he can go orthodox. And he has a little bit of speed and power to go along with that. But are there other fighters that do that just as good as him? They try to compare us because we both switch, but I got my own style. I got a whole different style. I feel like I'm smarter, stronger. When you're young and hungry, it's a dangerous combination. feel like nobody can beat me. You know, Jerron Ennis, I think, is the, is the perfect example of the prototypical superstar fighter. I think he, you know, because of his style, because of the way he uses his style, and the fact that he has a pretty outgoing personality, I think he's going to be the next generation superstar in boxing. Uh, and, and he can ride the wave that Bud created, only he needs to take it to another level because Bud... He's a great fighter. He does his switching style very well, but he he hasn't added that extra wrinkle uh, with, I think, over the top aggression and knockout, uh, uh, seeking the knockout and and uh, you know that Mike Tyson ferociousness that I think Boots does have. You know we don't see that out of Terrence Crawford. So I think when it comes to his switching style, I think Jerron Ennis does it a little bit better, but. Terrence Crawford is going to have to use that switching style to try and beat Earl Spence, to confuse Earl Spence, to throw that rhythm off of Spence. And then, not only with that switching style, but he's going to have to use speed and combinations and footwork to also put Spence in, the, in a situation where maybe his feet get tangled and Terrence Crawford can catch him with something big, or that he just... He tires and gasses Spence out to the point where he can't continue and is overwhelmed by the combination punching of Terrence Bud Crawford. Break number one in IBF. I called out Earl Spence and he, he right there. I called out Bud too all the time. Excellent fight. I've always favored Crawford in the fight. A tough fight for both guys. I think Earl Spence, his jab is going to carry the fight. I think his jab and his body type are going to be the reason that he wins this fight. I think his jab is going to confuse Terrence Crawford. I don't think Terrence Crawford is going to know how to work around that stiff jab and that consistent jab all night long. And then Earl Spence working body shots in off of that jab. I think it's going to really confuse Bud. And, and I don't think the switching stance of Bud is going to play much of a role. His footwork 
is as elite as a Jerron Ennis or a Manny Pacquiao. So I don't think he can put that switching stance together with speed and 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 to a point where it confuses or throws Earl Spencer's rhythm off. Now, I know there are opposing views. There's always an opposing view. Crawford, I feel, has better feet. I think that he's a better boxer, a better counterpuncher as well. He's a bit, little bit longer than Spence as well. Sneaky power. And uh, he's not going to stand there and let Spence hit him down to the body. The viewpoint of Terrence Crawford is a more seasoned fighter, technical fighter than Earl Spence Jr. You know, being technical uh, is one thing. A lot of people think that Terrence Crawford is very technical and has all the skill sets and Earl Spence Jr. is very basic and has none of the skill sets. But I think basic skill sets as long as you perform them well and consistently should win every time over you know theatrical fighting which is basically going off a of script you know being very lethargic being very erratic and, and not sticking to one game plan i think that might hurt terence crawford not sticking to one game plan for him to be switching and doing all these other things i think those could even confuse him uh, during the midst of the fight, especially once he starts getting beat on and uh, maybe hit with one of those bone-breaking punches. But how does he react? Does he switch? Does he stick with the, whatever game plan they came in with? Does, you know, what will be the reaction of Terrence Crawford when he meets adversity? Spence, I would say he's probably the best, has the best basics in boxing. Great jab, stays behind it, tremendous puncher to the body, and he's consistent with it. Now, how's this fight going to finish out? Who, who's going to win this fight based off the skill sets? I think Earl Spence Jr. is going to win this fight. I think the jab is going to carry the fight. I think the body shots will tire Terrence Crawford out, and along with his overworking himself, switching, trying to speed Earl Spence up. I don't think it's going to work. The first three or four rounds, Terrence Crawford will tire himself out. Earl Spence will work off the jab. The next three to four rounds, Earl Spence will work on his body, you know, uh, tenderize him uh, uh, for a couple of rounds. And then the last few rounds, I think Earl Spence will ultimately break him down and perhaps even knock him down or out for the victory and undisputed. And I think that it's going to be really hard for Terrence Crawford to rebuild after that. Uh, I definitely feel like his career could be over completely after that. If not a rematch and Spence beats him again even worse and then he goes into retirement. Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. Hit that like button for me. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you want to be featured on uh, Cardinal Red Sports Ali Land Boxing Talk with your boy. Cardinal Bud Crawford or E.S. Red, if that's what you want to call me, holler at me in the comment section. Hit me up on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or you can get my uh, Gmail in the info section of my channel. It's your boy, 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 and we are out of here. Careful what karma, they do anything for a dollar.